silence, remain attentive. Peace be with you. With you and with your spirit. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Luke. Glory to Christ our Lord. Jesus also told this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank you that I am not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week, I give tithes of all that I get. But the tax collector standing far off would not even lift up his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast saying, God be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but he who humbles himself will be exalted. And glory to God forever. Glory to Christ our Lord. Good evening. Welcome back to the Wednesday Mass. Can we praise God for this Wednesday Mass, right? Seriously, God is so good, and I'm just, honestly, I'm very happy uh, that this Mass is back. This is on my top three favorite Masses to celebrate at St. George, uh, probably because the lights are dim, it's intimate, right? It's awesome, it's beautiful, and so I think God really desires this, and especially on a Wednesday. Uh, if you don't know, the Catholic Church devotes Wednesday to St. Joseph. Right? So some people get mad that I say St. Joseph in Mass so much because we're from St. George, Willie. Like, okay. <laughs> but especially this day, right? This day is dedicated to St. Joseph every single Wednesday. If you're a Khaltu, you know that because you've been saying St. Joseph prayers all day today. So don't forget that. Uh, every time you come to Mass on Wednesday, remind yourself that this is St. Joseph's day. This is his day. And why we love St. Joseph so much, uh, he's our father as well. We have our heavenly father, we have our earthly fathers, but St. Joseph is also our father. And I would really encourage you to read his litany, to pray with his litany, maybe look it up at some point today, and you'll get a better understanding of who he is. I think the two favorite titles of St. Joseph that I love very much and that I love to pray with, one is the terror of demons. You've heard me say that in Mass. St. Joseph is the terror of demons, uh, but St. Joseph is also the guardian of the chaste, right? And so I think these are two things that we need very much in our world. Uh, we need to be protected from the devil, but we also need to be protected in our purity. Whether we are single, whether we're married, whether we're a priest, a nun, whatever it is, we're all called to purity. And so I just ask that every Wednesday you would offer up this day to him for his protection and for the protection of your own hearts and souls. Now this gospel, we read it on Sunday, but as I was praying with it yesterday and today, there was something new that came to me that I didn't preach about on Sunday. And it was simply how the tax collector recognizes his need for God. The tax collector recognizes his own weakness, yes, for sure, but then he recognizes how much he needs God. He says, God, have mercy on me. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. And then Jesus tells us, everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but he who humbles himself will be exalted. And so I think what Jesus is trying to tell us in regards to humility is that humility is recognizing our weakness, recognizing our lowliness, and doing something about it. It's not good just to recognize, oh, I'm weak, I'm stressed out, I'm struggling, I'm depressed, and we just leave it at that. That's it. That doesn't do anything. That's not true humility. You see, humility it's not about thinking less of ourselves, it's about thinking of ourselves less. We're not called to hate ourselves. When Jesus gives the greatest commandment, he says, love your neighbor as yourself. 
So if you don't love yourself, you can't love your neighbor. We need to learn to love ourselves, to love who God has made us to be. And that means that when we're weak, when we're low, when life is tough and difficult, that's the most and the greatest time when we need to turn to God. That's when we need Him the most. And just like this tax collector, how he turns to God, don't be like the Pharisee. The Pharisee comes before God and he's just worried about himself. He's talking about what he's done and who he is. That's not humility. He didn't need God. He went to God and was pretty much saying, you need me, God. But we need to be like this tax collector. And so when we're feeling desperate, when we're feeling weak, that's when we need to turn to Him. That's when we need to go to Him. That's when we need to open ourselves to Him. We need to be desperate for God. Desperate for Him. And so in this Mass, let's bring to Him our lowliness, our weakness, our sins, our struggles. And let's beg God to help us. Let's beg God to be there for us, to be with us. And let's surrender our, our entire lives to Him. Amen.